Hi, this is Lauren from Nexalom. I am here today to walk you through the unboxing and setup of your Auto 2000. This instrument is plug and play and very simple to start up. Each Auto 2000 comes with the following, an AC adapter and power cable, a USB thumb drive, a quick start guide and user manual, and a starter kit consisting of our slides and fluorescence reference beads. As you can see from the front of the instrument here, once you go ahead and plug the power cable and AC adapter in, that the power button will be orange to signify that the instrument is powered off. And when you go ahead and power it on, the button will change from orange to blue. As well, the display screen will light up. One of the great things about this instrument is that it has its own display touch screen. Once we're powered on, we're ready to go. In order to start analyzing any samples, you will need to take a background image first. It is also recommended to retake the image anytime you relocate the instrument. Once you have completed taking the background image, go ahead and preview it by clicking on the preview current image. This preview image should be a bright white background. As we said before, Nexalon provides a starter kit with this instrument, so let's take a look. Here we have our vial of fluorescent reference beads, and here are our slides that come with the instrument. They have a plastic film on both the top and the bottom of the slides. You'll wanna make sure that you peel off the top layer and the bottom layer in order to start counting samples. Now we can pipette the beads directly into the slide using one of the portholes. Insert the slide into the instrument and give the material five to 10 seconds to settle. In the software, you'll wanna select the primary cell lines assay and click on preview image for current assay. See how this image is blurry? We will need to adjust the focus. Go ahead and adjust the focus using the coarse and fine adjustment buttons on the left-hand side of the screen. The beads will be in focus when they display a bright white center with crisp dark outer membrane, just like cells. Click on the count button at the bottom of the screen, and this may take up to 60 seconds. Once your count is completed, your results will display on the screen. You can click on view count details to look at your images. When you do that, you'll wanna select the green fluorescent image, and then click on the view counted image on the left-hand side of the screen. Zoom into the screen if you need to, and all of the cells that are counted will be circled in green. You can also go ahead and look at the red fluorescence image and see that the counted cells are also outlined in green. If you wanna look at both of them at the same time, you can click on combined and it will circle the green fluorescent positive cells in green and the red fluorescent positive cells in red. This was fast and easy. Thank you for watching. Check out the rest of our videos on nexalom.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.